Hey, what's up, my nerds? I'm Air Bear. And I'm Chasen, and you're just in time for your weekly dose of nerd news. Clink! Uh, today is Friday, February 17th, and this is what happened this week. First off, we have a microphone. Yeah! Meow, 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 meow. So we're gonna see how this works. Anyway, we're gonna start off with movies. And the first movie that we're gonna talk about is Tetris, mm. which I didn't even know was going to be a movie, but Tetris had a trailer release this week. Um, and I learned something new about Tetris. What did you learn, Love Bear? Oh, do you want to know? Yes. Um, Tetris, the word Tetris comes from the word um, tetra, which I think is Greek for four or some language for four. Okay. And tennis. It's a combination of those two words. Okay. Four tennis. Mm-hmm. I guess because each of these blocks has four cubes. I just realized that. Do they? I think so. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I guess so. <laughs> so anyhow. It's a one-sided tennis match, though. Like it's... I think it, I think the tennis was something else. Oh. You didn't watch the preview. I didn't, I didn't watch the trailer, so. Yeah. So I anywho, it's based on a true story mm -hmm. and it's going to be on Apple TV. I wrote Apple TV Plus, but I don't know if that's a thing. Yeah, Everything has Plus behind it, yeah. like Disney and Paramount. No, HBO. No, it's not Plus, it's Max. It's yeah. So Max maybe out. Apple TV is a Plus. Mm -hmm. um, but it has... I don't know how to pronounce his name. <laughs> that dude from uh, Rocket Hunger Man. Games, right? Rocket Man and Kingsman. Oh, not Hunger Games. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it will be coming to Apple TV March 31st. Okay, cool, cool. Well, let's talk about something I actually know something about. Harry Potter and Warner Brothers. Sounds like they are at it again, and they're going to be, um, they're planning to work on a new movie in the Harry Potter world based on the Cursed Child. So, should be cool. I haven't read the book, but I know some people have. I read half of the book. Half. Well, that's where we stand. <laughs> All right. <laughs> um, Magician's Elephant was a trailer that released this week. Um, it's going to be on Netflix. It's based on a book. It comes out March 17th. Looks really cool. I think it's going to be something that we're going to want to watch. Okay. I like magic. You like elephants. I do like elephants. Yes. Yeah. Oh, cool. Cool. All right. Looks like uh, Paramount Plus is joining some of the other streaming services with raising their prices. And uh, so for those who might not know, Paramount Plus is where you can watch Star Trek. <laughs> So they are increasing their premium membership or their, uh, yeah, their premium membership that includes Showtime from $9.99 up to $11.99. And their essential package, which does not include Showtime, that's going to increase from $4.99 up to $5.99. So basically it's another brand that's increasing their prices or changing their, well, I guess, I don't think... Netflix increased its prices. It just added some stuff in in order to get more money. <laughs> Changing their prices, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, so the Little Mermaid had released a new trailer. It picks up where the last one left off. And I had chills when I watched it. Mm. I did not watch it <laughs> i imagine if i did i might have some chills too maybe yeah <laughs> yeah it's been a it's been a cool story that's been developing about little mermaid and just representation and all that good stuff so i gotta check it out i have it but i should check it out well the Uni universal pictures is going to be making a live action how to train your dragon and i didn't watch this trailer either is there a trailer mm -hmm. not yet just the announcement mm -hmm. okay <laughs> well, I'm not behind on this one. Okay, cool. <laughs> but it sounds like it's going to be cool. I mean, um, I know I like the, the series, How to Train a Dragon, as far as the series of movies. So, interested to see where they're going to go with that. Uh, looks like it's going to 
Oh, the, um, I'm not going to try to pronounce his, his <laughs> name, but the director of the trilogy. Yeah, I don't think, I think that auto-corrected to something, something else. else. Okay, because that <laughs> doesn't look right. <laughs> look up their name um, <laughs> after this video. But they are going to be returning to write, direct, and produce it. So it's, ni it's nice to have that um, continuation there. That's going to be cool. Having the same director just use their vision to bring it to live action. So interested to see how that's going to turn out. It's going to release on March 14th in two years, 2025. <laughs> so he's got some time, he or she. They've got some time to make it happen. And I did not know that this movie needed to exist. So I'm a little... I liked the first one. And it wasn't that long ago that they have come out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just don't know that it needs a live action. Well, I mean... <laughs> Live action dragons. I mean, I'm all for it. I am interested to see where they're going to go with this. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you watch a the trailer. There I guess no there trailer. is no trailer. <laughs> in a couple years, you watch a trailer and you uh, write in the comments what you think, okay? <laughs> Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 released. Well, actually, a couple of movies released trailers during the Super Bowl. Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 was one of those trailers. We did not watch it because we did not want to see what happens and we're fairly sure we want to see it anyway. Yeah. So that will still be coming to theaters May 5th. Nice. So yeah, there have been quite a few trailers released during the Super Bowl. Fast X, Fast 10, not sure which way they're going with it. Um, Fast Extreme is my suggestion. But anyway, that one also had a trailer during the Super Bowl. We didn't watch that one either. Um, and it looks like that's going to be released May 19th. So Fast and Furious fans, rejoice. And go watch the trailer if you haven't already. The Flash had a trailer that released, I'm fairly sure it released during the Super Bowl. Um, we did watch that one. You Okay, yeah. Because <laughs> it's the first trailer that I've seen for that movie. And... Um, I, I am, am excited. excited. Yes, we are excited. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if you yeah. haven't seen it, check it out. It's the um, the shorter of the trailers because there's also another trailer that's that's been released. But um, the shorter one is the one that we're talking about that was released during the Super Bowl. Yeah. Yes. Cool. Yeah. And then they said to go online to watch the longer trailer. Nice. Oh, okay. Cool. like the way they did that. Well, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Let's say when it comes out. My bad. It's going to come out June 16th. Of this year. Yes. Another June release is going to be Indiana Jones. That one's coming out June 30th, but the trailer also came out during the Super Bowl. So if you're interested in that one, be sure to check it out. Did you watch the trailer for that one? No, I didn't. I didn't either. I haven't seen a trailer for that one. Hmm. The Flash was the only one that I've seen of this list, I think. Yeah. And this is not a trailer, but um, there has been an image released of Lady Gaga with the guy who plays the Joker mm. in the Joker sequel, which is Joker for I do. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, so. It has not been announced officially what role Lady Gaga will be playing, but a lot of people know that she is blonde. That's true. <laughs> That's true. Um, and one would assume that it is going to be Harley Quinn. That was my assumption. Yes. So we'll Otherwise, see. it'll be like, why mention it? Mm -hmm. Unless she was Poison Ivy. But then why would she be with the Joker in, in the Joker movie? So Or Batwoman. It's more than likely Harley Quinn. Or so Batwoman. anywho. So anywho. There oh. were other images too okay. that she released. Mm. That also lead Down toward, that path. Yeah. That she's mm. gonna be Harley Quinn. Okay. Um that's gonna be coming out October fourth, two thousand twenty-three. And I think I said it before, it's going to be a musical, which makes sense why Lady Gaga's in it. 
I don't know if the guy who plays the Joker is a singer, but I don't know if it really matters based on the things that I know about that movie because I never saw it. Did you see it? No, I didn't. I need to. You would like it, I think. I need to check it out. Yeah. Also, this movie is going to exist outside of the um, main universe that James Gunn and I really need to learn the other guy's name. (laughs) James Gunn and the other guy Mm -hmm. are creating. Um, But The Flash is going to be, I think it's going to be the first movie. The Flash, I think, is going to be the first movie in that, um, in the DC, in the new DC. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess I wonder if they're going to be putting old movies or saying, like, this movie goes in, this movie does not. Right. Like separating out the canon? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It would make sense, too. Yep. Yeah. So Star Wars did. It makes it easier if you want to stay true to uh, canon stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Well, is this TV stuff? Yeah. This is awesome. TV stuff. Excellent, excellent. Rolling right into the TV section. Disney has released a clip. Once again, we did not watch it. But we are going to watch the show uh, for Mandalorian 3. And that's the show is going to be coming out March 1st. And I mean, both of us already know that we're on board for Mandalorian 3. Um, so yeah, if you're interested... <laughs> Be sure to take a look at that newly released clip for Mandalorian Season 3. Justice League Dark, which was going to be a show that J.J. Abrams was going to be involved with. I'm not sure how he was going to be involved. It looks like it is on the chopping block or it won't be. It looks like they're not going to be going through with it, at least at this time. Um, It's not in James Gunn's current lineup Mm -hmm. yeah um but that was going to be like a spinoff based on the justice league movie so the justice league live action movie yes Mm -hmm. but i don't know if the if the show was going to be animated or if it was going to be live action yeah but based on what jim based on what gun i don't remember if it's tim gunn or james gunn pretty sure it's james gunn james gunn Based on what Gunn was trying to do, he wants all the same actors voicing mm. and playing. So that might be one one reason why it may not be feasible to do it at this time. Also, it's probably just not part of the main story that he wants to tell. Possibly. But I would have liked to see a Justice League Dark. Yeah, I was thinking if it was going to be... Um, I mean, I imagine it's, it would be somewhat based on the animated movie justice league dark mm. so yeah and i think i like that one i typ- we typically like the the animated, animated movies stuff. are good yeah 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 but we'll see like i said it, it wasn't in his plan for right now but maybe maybe down the line once he establishes the universe a little more and mm-hmm. has actors for different roles he can more confidently do spin-offs maybe it'll be in chapter two mm. well Squid Game. I was thinking chapter two, but this is season two of Squid Game. Now it looks like it's going to begin filming soon during the summer and it's set to be longer as far as filming, take longer to film than season one, sort of. Season one took about 10 months, uh, but there are some delays because of COVID. So with season two taking up just about the same amount of time, It seems like there's going to be um, some more stuff in there as opposed to season one. Regardless of all of that, I know I'm interested in um, what they're going to be coming out with for season two of Squid Game. And maybe you can tell me the story again. I probably will (laughs) break down the story (laughs) of what happened because... I can't watch it. (laughs) Not for you. you. Um, So, Barney... The lovable dinosaur, purple, lovable purple dinosaur, got a new animated look. Um, I feel like it is ruining childhoods. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Like when I saw it, it was like, oh, that 
it's not Barney. He doesn't even look lovable. Why is he, why is he animated? So Barney was like, I feel like the epitome of my years, childhood, childhood of when I was five. Okay. So like I would watch Barney every single day, multiple times a day. Um, when PBS would have right. those drives of like, hey, support the show, support the show. Um, did you call in? I did not call in. I got my parents <laughs> to call in. My parents called in and they supported the show for me. <laughs> and they got a Barney stuffed animal that I loved. And I loved Barney so much that the reason why my favorite color is purple is because of Barney. It's also the reason why I love dinosaurs. Because when I was five, I loved Barney. I was like, Barney's a dinosaur. He's purple. I'm going to love purple. I'm going to love dinosaurs. Wow. Like so much. Yes. I of who I am. Of these things. Is mm. based on Barney. And then this thing comes out. <laughs> this atrocity. <laughs> <laughs> it comes out and it's like, you're cool, look at me. It probably doesn't even sound the same as Barney. And I wonder what... Baby Bob and BJ look like, because mm. they already look kind of <laughs> kind of weird They're already. Kind of messed up. All right, they don't need me help. So they're probably gonna look even worse. Mm. 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 I even had a like a VHS yeah. of the Barney special. Like it was in New York. Nice. I'm sorry. <laughs> And I have no comment anymore. <laughs> I'm just sorry for your loss. Yeah. And thank you for uh, sharing all of that. <laughs> the more you know, man. Well, <clears throat> Marvel Studios president had some announcements. One of which is that their uh, phase five and six TV shows, well, they're going to have fewer TV shows in five and six than they had in the uh, previous phase. And it sounds like, if you listen to them, it's so that the shows can shine more. They can get a little more of the spotlight as, as opposed to inundating us with all of these shows. Hey, we're gonna dial it back just a little bit so that the shows can, can shine a little more, <laughs> if you ask them. That's, that's why they're doing it. So, um, hey, you can look forward to hopefully, I mean, fewer shows, but you can appreciate them more because there are fewer of them. So based on what I saw, <clears throat> there's two shows. I think it was, there were two sh shows that were more than likely going to come out. Like they originally announced like five or six. They included Loki, Agatha, um, it included What If, um, something with, uh, X-Men? Is that X-Men? What's his name? Fury. Something with Nick Fury. Oh, okay. I patch, but I want to <laughs> touch my glasses. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, something with him, but it looks like it's now down to... Well, what they said was Loki and I don't remember the name of the other one, but it wasn't. It wasn't Agatha. It wasn't Agatha and it wasn't What If, which is what it needs to be. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I am wondering if it doesn't have to do with the fact that Phase 4 sucked. <laughs> and now it's like, you know what? Maybe we shouldn't try to juggle so many projects. Maybe we should just really hone in and focus on the... Uh, and like make sure all of our best people are on each of these projects instead of just spreading the hey, wealth. Hey, Mr. Janitor, you got an idea for a <laughs> show? Come in here. Have a seat right here. <laughs> I gotcha. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Yeah. You're up next. Oh, I guess so. Mm -hmm. I was, I was thinking more thoughts. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so Netflix, uh, it released a sneak peek of their new animated show called, or movie, called Pluto. Is it a movie? I don't know what it is. Animated series. series. So it's a show. a show, yeah. Yes, and this is under the TV section. Mm -hmm. So 
these are all shows. So it released a um, sneak peek of Pluto, which is based on the manga manga Astro, Astro Boy, Boy, the greatest robot on Earth arc. I used to watch that show. I mean, I did not. It was either I used to either watch the show or a movie. Do you know anything about Pluto? I don't remember the names. Pluto could have been the. No, I don't. Okay. I remember Astro Boy though. Whose name could be Pluto. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't think so either. But, uh, I do know about Arrested Development. <laughs> and uh, Arrested Development is apparently leaving Netflix. And if you're a fan or have heard some things and want to brush up on it or watch it again, you have until March 14th to catch it before it leaves. And that's including the extra season that is only on Netflix. Mm -hmm. Is there anything left in there? Mm-hmm. Oh, look at you. There is. Yeah, I took your suggestion of filling it up <laughs> this time. So thank you, Love Bear. Cool. All right, moving on to movies. Or am I supposed to go next? You can do that one. I don't want to do that one. I just didn't color it. Okay, I'm gonna, you want to do TV shows? Yes, I'll do TV shows. Cool. So we're going to do TV shows. <laughs> that um, are going to be coming out this upcoming week. So this is going to be February 18th, which is tomorrow, Saturday, oh. to next week, Friday, February 24th. So um, there's only one. Voices Rising, the music of Wakanda Forever is going to be coming out Wednesday, February 22nd on Disney+. Plus. Nice. I'm, uh, I might check it out. Yeah. Yeah. See what it's about? Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Well, on February 24th, we have two movies that are coming out. Cocaine Bear is the first one. If you guys watch some of our older stuff, I think we had hmm. a trailer about... I don't I know, know we talked if we about actually it, did it on... I don't know if me. we released it. This microphone probably heard that burp. Probably. Anywho, I don't, yeah, I don't know if it was one of the ones that we actually released. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, if you haven't seen or heard about Cocaine Bear, <laughs> <laughs> if the title catches your attention, check out the trailer because I don't think I need to say more. I'll just say it again. Cocaine Bear. It's coming out February 24th, which is next week, Friday. Another movie that's dropping on um, Netflix, actually. So this one's coming to Netflix. Oh, I didn't know it was coming to Netflix. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Okay. Yes. We Have a Ghost. So that is dropping Netflix on the 24th as well. And fans of Stranger Things, fans of David Harbour specifically, Hopper, um, may be interested in seeing that because he is in this movie as well as Anthony Mackie. And Anthony Mackie is Falcon from the Marvel Universe and Captain, Captain America. America. So, if you are uh, interested in those two or just interested in fun ghost movies, um, check it out. That's We Have a Ghost on Netflix, February 24th. I think that's it. Yeah, that's it. That is it. So thanks for watching. This has been your weekly dose of nerd news. Hey, if you like it, be sure to leave us a like, maybe comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next week for more nerdiness. Thanks for watching. I'm Chasen. And I'm Air Bear. See you next time. Clink. Clink. Mm.